be all right. We'll be all right. Just three weeks. Just three weeks. We can, we can hold off. We can hold off. Welcome everyone to the Red Lounge, guys. This is your host Rick Redmond here, and we are now in Week 14 of this Madden NFL 18 franchise for your Los Angeles Rams. So, from what you saw last week, yes, Todd Gurley did go down with an injury, more specifically a dislocated elbow. So the time of duration he's going to be out for is three weeks, which would in fact be just about the time right when the playoffs would actually should start. So we'll have, a, we'll have him at least for the playoffs. I think we should have clinched a playoff, but I don't know if we did. Maybe we haven't yet. So that's this still could be a concern, but at least it's nothing too severe that he'll be out for the a good amount of weeks. It's just three weeks, so we can we can manage and live with Lance Dunbar uh, heading into today's game against the Philadelphia Eagles. So you see the remaining schedule we have left over. We got the Eagles this week, but next week is going to be the big time game at Seattle, which could decide the division crown of the NFC West. Then we got the Titans on the road and the Niners at home. So the, this week and next week will probably be the two big games here. And we're going to see how we're going to survive without Gurley for these next few weeks. We'll probably get him maybe at the last week of the season. But that Seahawks game, though, that's the big one that we're going to have to focus on. But our mindset, though, is we do have to focus our attention on the Eagles. Lance Dunbar has had some big games if you've watched some earlier videos. So you never know what to expect. So let's see how we fare off in our matchup between the number one overall quarterback in last year's draft, Jared Goff, versus the number two overall quarterback, and Carson Wentz as you see the playoff hunt is heating up the playoff race is heating up as we have a showdown here at the Coliseum two high prolific offenses here as we get set Sammy Watkins practicing his one-handed catches we need a big game from him he had a big game last week so we're expecting another big game from him this week so here we go starting off the bat Eagles with the ball Lou Gehrig Blunt Gets that short game, but gets that first down, that third down conversion. Next play here, first and 10. Wentz dropping back, looking, trying to find somebody. Barwin with a sack fumble. And it's recovered by Aaron Donald. Connor Barwin has been beasting it up the last couple, last few weeks here. And he makes a big play to get us the ball right here. Inside Eagles territory already. As you see, Lance Dunbar with the first carry. Gets it in for eight yards. But now we need to have a running back committee here without Todd Gurley. As you see on the third and inches, we hand it off to the fullback, Harvey, who gets it in for four yards and a first down. So keeps the drive going. Second and ten. Goff dropping back. Gets sacked, though, by Fletcher Cox, who stops our momentum and forces us to most likely kick a field goal, which we do. So now Eagles with the ball back on their second possession. Third and eight. Went rolling to his left, flying around outside, and ooh, that would have been a huge turnover again. Back to back, could have been a pick right there, should have been a pick, but it would force them to punt the ball. So now, Rams, we're back on it. Goff on play action, finds Sammy Watkins over the middle of the field. Watkins continuing his hot momentum so far the last couple weeks. Now, second and 12, Goff's gonna. Find Lance Dunbar off the screen play who gets some huge yardage in Eagles territory for another first down. So getting Dunbar into the passing game, getting him involved. Then next play, first and 10. First quarter winding down. Goff's going to find Watkins for another catch. As Watkins already has 50 yards receiving and we're barely into the second quarter now. And then Goff's going to try to throw it on second and goal, but no, he throws a pick. A pick to Ronald Darby. So, had so much momentum going into that drive, but costly mistake by Goff in the red zone. A rare costly mistake in the red zone. Now gives the Eagles a shot to take the lead now on this drive. So you see here, Wentz gets that completion. Second and inches play action. This time he's going to find Brent Selleck, who's got room to run, and finally gets tackled inside the 35. But now the Eagles are marching down the field. Second and seven here. Now Blunt who gets take, taken down but gets pushed forward for a first down on the next play. First and 10. Oh my gosh, he's running over people, Blunt is. As he bulldozes his way for another first down. So now Blunt 
finding head of steam here. And then on second and three, oh my goodness, we didn't even touch him. We didn't even touch him in that. That was just an easy stroll for a touchdown as the Eagles now have the lead 7-3. to three. So now with about two minutes to play, Goff's turn to respond, but he throws another pick. On third and two, he throws another pick. This time it's to Malkin Jenkins. So now the Eagles have a chance to increase the lead before half now. But here comes Connor Barwin. Man, this guy is beasting it up. After that contract extension we gave him. So well deserved now for sure as he gets a sack there on second down. But third and 12, Wentz looking, pulling up. Russell Wilson scrambling out of nowhere and throws it off his off. He throws it on his off foot and still is able to make a deep throw to Aguilar for first down. How the hell did he get that playoff? Now on third and three in their own red zone. We need a stop here and we do get the stop. Torrey Smith wanted a flag but no flag called right there for holding. So the Eagles would settle for a field goal. So now Goff and the Rams. Goff's going to have to redeem himself for those two picks. He's got to get us tied up in this ball game here. You see this play action. Look at Sammy Watkins. Back-to-back -back catches as he is on fire against this Eagles secondary. Maneuvering his way here. First and 10. We call timeout, though. 30 seconds to play. Oh! Goff finds Cooper Cup, but Cup drops the ball. He had it. That was the perfect throw, too. So now on second and 10, less than 30 seconds to play. Goff's going to take a shot down that side of the field again. But this time, Sammy Watkins grabs it, snatches it from that Eagles defender for a touchdown. This Eagles secondary has no answer for Watkins. As you see here, Sammy just snatching it up in midair and stiff arming that defender for good measure. In this nice play at the height of the ball, catches it, brings it down with a stiff arm and celebrates and a well-deserved celebration as Watkins is having himself a day and we're already just into the first half as we tie the game up at 10 apiece now. So now we start off the ball in the second half. Goff here. He's going to scramble. Rare scramble who slides and takes out two Eagles defenders and gets enough for a first down. Now deep inside Eagles territory play action. Goff's going to find up. Oh, guess who? Sammy Watkins having himself a field day again. Gets it right at the five yard line. So now on third and goal, we can't really hand the ball off to Gurley, so we're going to have to find another way to score, and we do. It's Watkins again, this time off the slant route. Goff defining, delivering it, and making up for those two picks as he gets that touchdown to go and gives us the lead right back, 17-10. to 10. Now here come the Eagles. Wentz trying to respond. Ooh, he, he missed. He eludes two defenders, but takes a shot by Joyner who forces a fourth down, and we get the ball right back. Third and six still, Goff trying to keep this drive going, but he gets sacked by Vinny Curry. So we're forced to give the ball right back to them. So now Eagles now with another shot to tie the game here. But look at this, first play on their possession. Look, sorry, Maurice Alexander with the pick. You saw that user interception, read that the whole way, Carson, read that the whole way. So now, a chance to extend this lead here. But look at this first play in our possession. It's picked off by Ronald Darby again. So back-to-back -back picks by both the quarterbacks here. So now, we're just giving the ball to each other, like hot potato, back and forth. So now Eagles, once again, has a chance to tie the game is I how the world did Carson get that throw to Alshon Jeffrey Jermaine Johnson was all over him but somehow was able to get that completion so then on the next play first and 10 Wentz looking trying to scramble trying to find something he's running down the left side and ooh takes another shot to the legs we don't need to talk about legs after what happened in this week's game but now it's third and three Wentz looking this time we got that quarterback contained and this time he's sacked by Brockers so now it's fourth down what do the Eagles do here they're actually gonna go for it instead of taking the field goal so now fourth and four Wentz looking he has a chance to run up the middle but decides to throw it off his, his side foot and he picked off by True Main Johnson letting everyone know that maybe we should give him that 30 million dollar contract but I'm still unsure about that but this does help though for us for sure 
as Chimay makes a key play off the pick and could maybe seal the deal. But we still have to run this clock out. But and Lance Dunbar says, wait a minute, why not just score? As he juke moves a defender, running down the left side all the way for a touchdown. Lance Dunbar, we knew you had a big play in you. We've seen you with big 100-yard games, and that was the play we needed from you the most. Lance Dunbar, bouncing off that counter play, juke moves a defender, missed tackle, and then just outruns everybody else. Dunbar, a suitable, suitable replacement for Todd Gurley being out. And that, my friends, could and will indeed seal the game. But there's still time. There's still time. The Eagles still got some time with less than three and a half to play. They just got to score quick as Wentz finding Alshon Jeffrey for first down. Next play, first and ten. Wentz dropping back, looking. Gonna find a wide open Brent Selleck, who's oh could get down the end zone, but does step out of bounds right at the five. So Selleck making some big plays for them. Then on first and goal, handoff to Blunt. Oh, Blunt fumbles, and it's Aaron Don who causes it, but Blunt recovers it. I want you to remember that play. Who caused that fumble, Aaron Donald? So now on second and goal here, play action. Wentz looking, trying to find somebody, but he gets tackled and stripped from. He fumbles it, and Alec Ogletree picks it up. And guess who's the guy that strips the ball and causes the fumble? Let's take a look. That's right, Aaron Donald. This time the ball bounces in our favor, and we scoop it up. As that, Aaron Donald and the Rams seal it now for sure with that play. And we get the victory at home against a formidable NFC team in the Eagles. 24 tens the score. Big win for us without the first game without Todd Gurley here. But definitely have to be prepared for next week. So now we got this game out of the way. But next week is the true test when we go to Seattle and face the Seahawks and possibly fight for the division crown. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Until next time guys, this is Rick Redmond, signing out.